Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 6. We've got a bunch of new stuff. There are some photos that have been released for Episode 2. Also, there's a synopsis for Episode 2, and there's a synopsis for Episode 3. Also, we got some news about a major character returning. We'll talk about that and a lot more in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first things first, we're going to talk about this returning character. This returning character is Kid Flash. So there is a new quote that has been put out by Eric Wallace, the new showrunner. I think he is doing a really good job promoting this season, and the way it looks, I'm very happy with it. So, yeah, looking forward to all that's going to happen. Obviously, The Flash returns this week. Well, you know, it's Saturday right now, and it comes on Tuesday, so, you know, a few days' time. But Supergirl is back tomorrow. So please be sure to stick around for those videos because reviews will go out on the same day. Okay, so this is the quote talking about Kid Flash and Keenan Lonsdale's return. So, if all goes well, we should be breaking his story the next couple of weeks, Wallace said. I'm trying my best to get Kid Flash in for a couple because the story is so good. A little tease is Kid Flash will now meet a classic villain from the classic days from classic comic books. And maybe he'll have to save the flashes behind, which is what I want to see. Because maybe he's not a kid anymore, it's time to grow up. And I really love this quote. I think this quote is everything that, you know, we as Flash fans want. We want him to progress. We obviously want him to return. Like, I really like him, Flash, but he just didn't have that much time. And, you know, he was very much so sidelined for the most part when he showed up on the show. So, I think it's good that Eric has... A passion and Eric wants to bring him back in a meaningful way and I love the idea he's gonna return with a classic comic book villain from the classic days so it could be anyone and I'm not gonna guess anyone right now but you guys can tell me your theories in the comments down below so he's trying to get Kid Flash back for a couple of episodes I think it's really down to Keenan Lonsdale wanting to return and I'm really looking forward to it okay so we're gonna talk about the photos later but we're gonna go over the synopsis for both episode 2 and 3 first so Episode 2 is titled A Flash of the Lightning. We found out that a while ago, Jay Garrick, John Wesley's ship is returning in this episode. So this is how the synopsis goes. John Wesley's ship to guest star. Faced with the news of his impending death, Barry's resiliency suffers as he struggles to fight fate. Meanwhile, Cecile's career as a DA conflicts with her identity when she crosses path with a villainous metahuman. Okay, so that was the synopsis for episode 2, A Flash of the Lightning, and just quickly to add this in, we're going to talk about a bit of an interview that I just found whilst making this video, and this interview confirms Barry's going to die, and what date he's going to die in crisis and everything like that. So we'll talk about that in a sec, but let's just finish breaking this down. So John Wesley's ship returns the guest star, and it's been confirmed, yes, this is the normal Jay Garrick version of himself. So we're on Earth 3, that's where Barry is, and he's attempted to time travel, and I think Jay stopped him again, right? And he's seeing the future, and he's going to find out what happens to him in Crisis, and, you know, his impending death. He knows when he's going to die, essentially. And so, faced with the news of his impending death, which he obviously finds out, Barry's resiliency suffers as he struggles to fight fate. And so, that's when he attempts to time travel. He attempts to do a flashpoint of sorts, but then that's when Jay Garrick intervenes. And that's where John Wesley's ship comes into it. And so, Cecile, she's going to have some sort of conflict with her identity as she crosses a path with a villainous metahuman. I don't know what to make of that, because I don't know why the DA would cross paths with a villainous metahuman and why it would, like, conflict with her, so I'm not really sure right now. But anyway, let's talk about that interview, because it's very important, and I don't want to keep you to the end of the video for that stuff, and then we'll go over the episode 3 synopsis and some of the photos. So this is coming from Clyder.com. They did an interview with Eric Wallace, the new showrunner, the other day. And in this interview, they reveal some massive stuff. So, question. With the Monitor telling Barry and Iris that the Flash must die, how will they grapple with that this season? Eric Wallace replies, that would be the plot of episode 602, Crisis. Turned out to be one of the best things that has happened to the Flash because it created an immediacy in the things 
and we know that on December 10th, 2019, The Flash will die. He said it, we're not messing around. Okay, so, I'm not sure if they're actually talking about like 601 when the monitor shows up, but I'm pretty sure that hasn't been revealed as of right now, and I know there was some screenings of episode 1 recently, so maybe Collider got to see it, but yeah, that's kind of very spoilery, so I'm very excited, but like, that's totally out of the blue, like, just talking about how the monitor tells Barry and Iris that the Flash must die, because we haven't had that yet, so I'm very confused. And I definitely think this is a spoiler for episode 1. I think that's what the monitor's going to come and do at the end of the episode and reveal all of that. And that's why you've got episode 2 after that with the repercussions of that. And Barry attempting to time travel which leads him to Jay Garrick and this other version of Nora Allen. It's actually Jay Garrick's like wife or fiance or just girlfriend. That is obviously the doppelganger of Nora Allen. So, very exciting stuff, we know that he's going to die December 10th, 2019, that's when the Flash will die, and so the countdown begins next week essentially, so exciting stuff right there, and if we scroll down and look through this massive interview, and it's freaking massive, so this is another question, how aware is the rest of the team about what's going on with what the Monitor said? Obviously, they're talking about episode 1 again, and Eric says, You'll have to watch episode 603, you're right on the money. We asked that same question in the writer's room, so we made an episode, you'll get your answer in episode 603. So it's going to be crisis heavy in episode 603, which is very exciting. And he also revealed that Oliver and Barry, you know, they're kind of unaware of what each other's doing. Like, Barry doesn't know that... Oliver has some sort of deal with the monitor and whatever that deal is he doesn't know and it will obviously be revealed okay so big spoiler here but it's exciting stuff so I want to talk about it so the season 6 premiere talks a lot about getting to know a new version of Nora eventually is there a pregnancy storyline bubbling for Iris at all Eric says not this season but that doesn't mean a huge hint about Nora isn't coming this season. There will be two. One will probably be misinterpreted in the wrong way because it's a deliberate misdirect. I like that and I like mysteries, but it's real. So look for that. The comic book fans will be watching episode 602 and they'll see a particular thing and go, oh my god, I know what this means. This part of the interview gets me the most excited because he talks about Nora and how there is references and how there is some mystery as to is a new version of Nora going to return but there's definite references and I love the fact that he says he likes mysteries because I feel, I feel like that's a massive thing that The Flash has been missing out on recently in the past few seasons. That's why the villains have been less intriguing because if you look at the past villains like Reverse Flash zoom and Savitar everyone was intrigued everyone was talking about it and then who has been talking about the thinker or cicada no one because partially there's no mystery okay so let's move on to talk about the episode 603 synopsis it's titled dead man running this is how it goes get ready for a killer party knowing that crisis is only weeks away Barry prepares a member of team flash for life without him while hunting a terrifying metahuman with an unquenchable thirst. Meanwhile, Ralph uncovers a family secret. Okay, so this is short but sweet, very exciting, get ready for a killer party it says. Knowing Crisis is only weeks away, which it is by the time this episode airs because this will be on October 22nd and I do believe Crisis is around the first week of December. So Barry prepares a team member you know, for life without him, and I, I have a feeling this is gonna be Iris, like, I don't really see it being, like, Cisco or Caitlyn, because I think they could handle it, and I think, I don't know, because Iris is so close to him, obviously, I feel like it's more like a mental preparation for Barry not being there, rather than being like, oh, you have to be the leader or something like that, because Iris has done that in the past, and Ralph's family secret, 
I don't know if it's about the case he's working on to do with Sue Dibney who's coming to the show, his wife in the comics, but I'm intrigued to see what happens there. Okay, so let's move on to these photos. Okay, so the first photo we're going to talk about is this one right here. They're in Star Labs, Barry is in his Star Lab stuff. He's been on the bed, so something's happened, and, you know, this is going to be the aftermath, and they all seem pretty happy, so it's all gone all well and good. We have actually Killer Frost there, not Caitlyn, but she's in very casual clothes, so it seems like she's sort of progressed to that point where it's like, yeah, it's chill, whatever. Then we move on to the next photo. Like I said, very chill looking Killer Frost, just normal stuff, sort of a bit like gothic. But, you know, that is Killer Frost style, really. So, very exciting and just nice to see Killer Frost doing some other stuff. And we've got this photo right here. We've got John Wesley Ship returning. And he is obviously playing the normal version of Jay Garrick. He's in this labs. I'm, I reckon it's probably a different version of Star Labs on his Earth. And Barry's there with him. And we got this photo of this new Earth 3 version of Nora Allen. And she's obviously going to be working with Jay but she's also going to be his wife or like girlfriend or fiance or something like that so we get this photo right here we see that Barry's got the helmet on right now Jay's got some sort of like walking stick so maybe Jay's injured I mean it kind of looks like a walking stick so maybe he's perhaps retired I'm not sure and we got this photo back in Star Labs Barry just a nice photo just wanted to include it and we have the final handing off of the helmet to Barry in a three in the lab. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment so you don't miss any DCTV videos because I'm super excited. The Flash returns this week and I cannot wait. So I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see